Time for some more unboxing. This just arrived. It's a white box. What could it be? Could it be this? All right. Um, big thank you to the awesome Andrew at Mostronics for sending this out. This is one of his latest pieces of awesome. Uh, let's see if it fits in here. Let's not look at instructions. This is not what this is about. This is all about not looking at instructions. And it looks like this. So this is the Mostronics Bone Breaker. Uh, uh, from what I gather, it's his take on a bunch of different pedals and you have a mode switch and you can switch between them. But let's not look at instructions, let's plug it in and see how we go. All right, so I'm plugged in uh, the Bone Breaker uh, by Mostronics. I'm going into the Fender Bass Breaker 15 which is on your right, in your right speaker, uh, and that's going through the Torpedo Live, two notes Torpedo Live, uh, with a one by 12 Celestian Greenback and a four by 10 blended together. Uh, and the other side is the angle, so that's your, le your, your left, that I think is your left, uh, that goes into a captor that's behind there and a two notes torpedo cab, not the cab M, the old cab, which is here. And that has an angle 4x10, 4x12 double XL cabinet and a 4x10 greenback. Now the cabinets, there's a link to Celestium Plus in the description below. Um, we've signed up with the affiliate system um, or affiliate program. So if you're interested in buying uh, an IR anyway, uh, you don't have to buy the ones we're using. But if you click on the link below and you buy an IR from Celestion, you're helping out the show. So, uh, you know, if you're thinking about buying IRs anyway, may as well use that link. Uh, now, clean, it sounds suchly. My uh, Jazz Master uh, with Duncan Antiquity 1 pickups in it. Uh, and the reverb, a little bit of reverb you hear on this side is just a reverb from the Fender. Just a little bit. Okay, so we have, what are the knobs? We have tone, body, gain, mode, and volume. Now, I believe the mode knob, um, and again, this is a first impression, so there'll be a full video of this later on. The mode knob, I believe, um, switches between different circuits inside, or different diodes within, so it switches something inside that changes it from um, one setting is a more TS style setting, one is a, kind of more OD1 style setting, then there's one that's kind of like, a, uh, what's another one? Uh, I don't remember what all the ones are. One's like an OCD style drive, one's a governor style drive, and then the last one I remember is his own take. So let's have a look. Um, let's put body, tone, gain, everything 12 o'clock and turn it on. is a bit spanky, kind of clean. Okay, let's check out the... That changes something. Again, full demo later on where we know what all the knobs do now. This is just a quick first impression. So let's just go through the mo mode. That sounds pretty good. Uh, that's the furthest that way. Next one. So that, that mode is like a click, click switch. I kind of remember from looking at it, um, you know, what he sent me and what he told me about. I think the first one's a TS style, the green drive, and the last one is his own take. So some sort of components in there change as you switch the thing. Again, we'll, if the full video will talk more about it. Yeah. 
sort of an in-between thing, which sounds kind of cool, which I guess is maybe no diode. That sounds massive. Yeah, there must be... <laughs> be a thing that's kind of in between all of that. Sounds really big, which I guess is possibly no diodes because it changes what diodes it goes through or whatever it goes through. I know one of them is meant to be the governor style drive, and I do really like the governor style drive. Um, that sort of Marshall esque governor style drive. So, one of that's like. Yeah, plug in humbuckers see what it does so this is my Ibanez AS100 from 1981 uh, and clean it sounds actually and let's go back to the first setting with the gain let's turn the gain down a little bit I know that's not me but let's turn the gain down a bit and let's see what it sounds like Super fat. Okay, I wonder if the body does something to me. I think body, I'm not 100% sure, but I think it may do something where it, it kind of, on one side it fattens up single coils, on the other side it maybe thins out a little bit for humbuckers. So to me, clockwise seems a bit thinner more for humbuckers, whereas counterclockwise seems a bit fatter, more for the single card. But I could be completely wrong. Next one. Third one's my favorite. I'll find out what the. So, my two favorites are probably that one, which I think is his own one, and the third one. Probably my favorite is the third one. Thank you. 
that's my favourite. <laughs> Quick first look at the Mostronics uh, GD1 Bonebreaker Green Drive. Uh, big thank you to Andrew at Mostronics for being absolutely awesome as always. I should mention I was also going through and, and all my videos now that I do here, and there'll be a full video um, on all this coming up as well. We're going. I'm going through this uh, Mostronic amp switcher. So it's got the two knobs. Uh, I've got four amps at the moment. I've got the uh, I've got the Fender the Hughes & Kettner, the um, Ibanez and the Marshall all plugged into this. So you've got a rotary switch, this rotary switch, you can select four diff five different amps and then you've got another rotary switch where you can select four, five different cabinets. At the moment it's only that's only going into the Two Notes Torpedo live back there but um, it's an amp switcher which is fantastic as well with a buffet input so it's buffet what you're hearing but I think it sounds fantastic and it's awesome and all this stuff is amazing. Go and check out Mostronics. Big thank you to Andrew. Uh, make sure to uh, ring the notification bell and subscribe to the channel if you want to find out and get notified when the new video comes out, the full video of this comes out with Alex. Um, also, uh, make sure to check out that Celestian Plus stuff because it helps out the channel. Uh, yeah, and big thank you for watching and thanks to everyone and bye.